my ratio had almost 600 people. Now you can imagine that thing. 600 people, people from all over the avenue, where and where. Then on my wedding day, I remember we had done a budget of like a thousand. 1,500, they came around 1,800 people. people. Yes. So you remember now this person mm. who was up there, anapewa chakula, anaosho hospitali, you cannot take yourself to the washroom, somebody must be there, uh, you have to have someone who is taking care of you, uh, then you cannot do a short call on your own, so we like okay we maua remember fame kuna garama yes you know we are we as human beings sometimes we forget about that one because when you when you're there up there top the downfall is like freaking and lie like this if you tuna funga macho utajipata pale chini A ah, very good morning to you and a warm welcome to LNS Rebuilding Series. My name is Lynn Gugi. My guest today just speaks of second chances in life. And sometimes I say when we get these second chances, that's when we realize, by the way, there are so many things that we've taken for granted. His story is his to tell. But trust you me, guys, by the time he's done talking to you, you are going to go home so inspired. Or even whether you're watching this from home, you are going to be so inspired because to be honest, he's such a positive mind and I can't wait for you to listen to his story and also get to say what exactly did I learn from him and take it to heart. We said this year we are rebuilding, we are restoring and people, I just love how our guests are just being vulnerable with their stories and at the end of the day we end up learning a lot. So I'm about to let him introduce himself but before I do that allow me to say thank you or appreciate our official partners of today this conversation tapped up guys i know if you are watching this from diaspora you've been using it to send money to your loved ones and i just wanted to say thank you the report they are giving us is amazing but it's simply because you guys decide to show up and just support anything that we touch uh, on this platform so if you want to send money to your loved ones back at home why don't you use tap tap and you know they are fast they are reliable and they are just honest because i haven't even received any single complaint with you guys and we've been with them this is actually almost now seven months so it's beautiful let me know your feedback and also use the link uh, pinned on the comment section to be able to install and remember you can be able to get 10 percent cash back by using my code lean on your first transaction and also to say thank you to you guys we are heading to 1 million subscribers look at you i know you are looking at this and you know you've not subscribed is that you Honestly, is that you that you're watching this and you know you just watch and you haven't subscribed? Please, please, please subscribe. It will go a long way into making sure that our work gets to impact as many souls as possible. And also to say thank you to the amazing team at LNN who gets to put this work together. We do not take you for granted. Shukran Sana. And now without further ado, please allow me to let my guest today introduce himself. Sir, good morning. Good morning. How you? are you? I'm fine. Oh, Shay, we're shooting this in the <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. not to know me. It's okay. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to, I don't want to. You don't want to shame me. I don't have to yes, give time. Though, you know how to give time, though. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You are here so early. It's I'm actually true. the one who is behind right no, now. Fine, but man. we are, we're going to blame Leia. She took our sweet time. Huh? <laughs> but how are you feeling? No, I'm much better. Yes. Uh, I thank God. Amen. Uh, too much grace on me now. Hey. That's what I can say. Yeah. Yes, facts on facts. That's Definitely. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice to see you. Correct. You feeling good? Much better again. <laughs> Much better. Sure. All right. Please uh, tell them your name. Uh, my name is uh, Washington Kiman Muturi and I come from Thika. So that's where I was born. Yeah. Raised by my humble background that is mom and dad. Mm -hmm. And from there I went to school uh, <coughs> in the same area mm -hmm. that is Thika town. Then after that, uh, I come from uh, a family of how many? Four. 
there's a small one kali part two. Yeah, you are the <laughs> last one. No, 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 I'm the first one. Yes. So in our family, we are four. Yeah. So by the time I maybe I was like, okay, I don't, let me not see the age. Yes. But dad was telling me, you know what? Mm. Haka ni kakutua viyatu huko chini ya. Ya, meza. Meza huko. He's called Prince. Yeah. Yeah, we love him. He's a small boy. He's mm. the youngest in our family. Mm-hmm. And the rest, we have one girl. Yes. She's called Esther. And we have my, now my brother, who's Alex. Yeah. I'll give you a story for Alex. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. I love that. Thank you, ma'am. When, when now you see life or you get to experience life, uh, what what does that look like for you right now at this particular <laughs> moment? Uh, Lynn, to be honest, the way I used to view life way back before, right now, totally different. And that's me, whereby I can wake up in the morning and I say, oh, thank you, God, for the light. At least I've seen another, another day. So those things we might sometimes take for granted. Kwangu hapana. Squeeze hapana. Hata si juu nitasema nini? It's too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Too much grace. Correct. I love that. Yeah. Cuz sometimes we take these things for granted. Sure. We don't even know what we have sure. until we are near or when we experience <coughs> losing it. Correct. You know uh, I I think there's a someone I listen to mm-hmm. can't quite remember who said mm-hmm. but they say you don't get to say thank you for your eyes when they are functioning uh, until so something happens. Until something happens. Even you are mm-hmm. ha- have you ever removed the cuticle from your yes. Even on the cuticle you see like now then I will tell you the truth. Uh, sometimes I don't have tears on my eyes. I know my walks in my eye, eye drops, natural tears. Uh, sometimes I lack saliva. So I have that natural saliva in my car. So those small, small things, actually, we take them for granted. Like, okay, Rin, you can cry, me, I cannot cry. The tears will not come. Mm. But I have now to use my natural ones because mm. I went through something mm-hmm. which now made my eyes to have the dryness. Yes. After every like 10 minutes, mm. I have to prepare with eye drops. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. And um, but it's fine. Gratitude well. all the way. Sure. Yeah, gratitude mm. all the way. Mm. But I'm happy you're Thank here. You. Yes. And we're about to get deeper into your story. But Correct. before we do that, what do you want people to learn from your story? <coughs> uh, there's something I, I came across this Bible verse. It was uh, John 3.16. Uh, we say that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. You know, can we all learn from giving? And once we share whatever little we have, it takes us miles away, like it can move mountain. I think it would have brought me up to this. Mm. Yes. Right. Uh, allow me to take you back true, true. to your story. Sure. Because as I said in the introduction, okay. this is your story. It's my story, give, true. Right? Mm. So could you take us there where you found yourself, you know, you're living such a good life according to you, quote unquote. Mm. This was you born <laughs> in, you know, sure. in Moy Avenue. This right. is you experiencing life at its true, fullest true. Mm. to then experience life at its lowest and then to get a second chance to experience it now True. in a conscious high. True. After now the college life. Yes. So I have now I nikakuja Nairobi. Before I nikuja Nairobi kwanza nilikuwa I met my auntie Adika. Huyo sasa ni alianzisha maisha. Unajua kwa familia mnakuwa na ule auntie. Ule tunasema auntie wa madu. Sasa huyo auntie wa madu ni sawa hadi alinichanua kwa sababu yeye alifanya nitoke home nikakuja town kwenye alikuwa anafanyia busy <laughs> kwa sasa nilimwambia unajua mnasemanga yule uh, anti wenyu wenyewe ya wale wangu lakini yes. <laughs> ule ule ule, ule msee mm. so akaniambia fanya hivi toka kwa madhi kuja town i'll try to connect you with some business people at least you learn something from there mm-hmm. Uta, utaacha kutegemea mam unaona so tumekuja dhika amenipeleka kwenye naka akanyonyesha na wahindi sasa tagline yangu ya wahindi ilito, ilianza kitambo so i think yeye nilifungulia hiyo njia ya wahindi ya wahindi sasa <laughs> so when you when you were doing uh, where he was working where she was working alikuwa anafanya story za mbao kushona manguo vitu kama hizo vitu za gari vitu kama hizi ana mashona hizo vitambaa 
so kuna mwili rafiki yake alikuwa afanyiza pharmaceutical na wote wa products so can you know what tunataka wende kwa huyu mwindi mm-hmm. you learn something like on, on sales because eh? ulikomfanya sales after <coughs> nini uh, college na hapo nips kwambia at least i get some experience kidogo so kwa ule mwindi nikaenda nikapata ah kumbe kuna dawa zingine zinaitongwa zinaitongwa enzo hizo ni vitamin drink something mm. by that time zilikuwa zime hit sana so every time ukienda kwa pharmacy Uh, siji kama wanaume hiyo time wako wana function sana kwa sababu mm. zilikuwa zinasonga zilikuwa zinasonga sana 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 the business was good eh. you see like now these indian guys have come from, from they had come from indian so they had come now in a, what do you call this place uh, industry area yes. pale dika sasa mm. ilitoa inda before lich makongeni hapo so the factory was not doing bad it was good Uh, this is what bad he like uh, how many people almost 100 people employees so you see you can imagine yes. it, was good, it was a good deal yeah. so tunatoka Nairobi tunatoka Thika tunakuja Nairobi sasa hapo ndio nikaanza kuona aya tunakitoka Nairobi tukitoka Thika kuna ile unajua kuna kale kaushaa huko kale yes. kadhika huko mm. tena unakuja Nairobi tunaleta mzigo tunarudi home mm. eh na bianti eh na anti eh na na Nairobi ni kuzuri nikamwambia like, well, wait about eh nyamaza wewe like why can't you stick to one place like you should not jungle but you know what maisha ni ya maisha ni maisha yako, yako. saizi ushakuwa mtu mkubwa unaweza unaweza jitafutia i say no it's okay we can try so by this time my aunt whatever i was making through the mwindi i used to save So I've gotten a car house pale vitaibie kuna tu vyombo niko one two three so I wanted now to start my own life mm-hmm. and tell you know what I'm not coming to your place you know the reason why I would not come to her place because I want after after work maybe on a Saturday I don't want to go home I want to go to my place where maybe I can go to Dundas I'm going to take a dim take a dim you know so you cannot do uh, in in in, 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 in her house, house. So you avoid that such stuff uh, you know you what now uh, I think nimepata kanyumba eh hey, lili let's go and see <laughs> akapata ni vitaibi akasema we yenyewe umeamua kuanza maisha huku now it's okay you start it hmm. but I, i i say it was an eye opener to me because she opened up my mind mm-hmm. i can't stand on my own mm. and never stop now take me away now my parents blah blah so he now to face life in a different angle mm. where by lean unatoka job unakosa chakula unajua ni wewe si anti alikuwa anakupikia mm. sasa si umefika hutaki kupika ama una size zingine una chakula mm-hmm. na sasa anti ashakwambia si umetoka kwangu so wewe jipa jipange sasa eh, it went on like that so in the middle of like like a near or so I, my dad asked me how are you doing with auntie I and I ni kuzuri but this are not that good would you like to try somebody I have a friend of mine uh, he's a white guy he's called Jack uh, on whatever my dad is a very good artist mm. whatever I do I, I, I I'm doing on him I think he needs somebody who can market his stuff so that connected me now to Jack it's <coughs> called Jack uh, They, he was brother to the owner of the Carnival Hotel mm-hmm. in Nairobi mm-hmm. then the summer in Mombasa so when he cooked me up like you know Trambuangu in this life you need to know somebody connection ni muhimu sana 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 so i went now to i came now to Nairobi that's when i started now real life mm. and now this real life jack showed me now another world of carnival interacting with big people the white guys mara tuko Mombasa mara sijui tuko wapi eh maisha inabadilika mm. sasa hiyo lini mm. tudo tunaingia tudo eh subati <laughs> tuko tunaingia kidogo kidogo mm. sasa siku moja mimi nikaona pana hii pesa is not enough haya yeah. where by mtu anajua anakupatia like 20g sijui kanini naona pana hii mshahara pana nikaacha i will now I got in there myself into the street of Nairobi. So the street of Nairobi is also on the Indian phones. Ah, luckily I met I met good people 
on, on, on the work of my team, mm. uh, that's where I came to meet Amos Mwago, now the former, the current now MP. Mm -hmm. uh, the MCA is now Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a, a lot of big people like Joseph FG, Atua Biashara, mm -hmm. Moy Avenue. Sasa kina kwenye ni wana nionyesha wana niambia kini. <coughs> Nafanya nini wako tao? Uh, I'm, I'm into business, but now I don't know where to start. Yes. So they're like, okay, you know what? Why can't you start? Uh, whatever you're doing currently, before before I, I get to know Kwenya, nilianza kuza bags. This is a ladies handbag. Mm. Mm. Zini kuna to do, tunatumana mzigo China, inakuja, tunauza, profit margin, iliko sawa, iyo time. So, Kwenya na mpatia, client wanakuja kwangu, wana niuliza haya, iduko ulipata aji, nilivuziwa na mtu na, na Goodwill. Kumbe, mi Nairobi siku wanajua duka za uzongo na Goodwill. Wale client wanakuja kwangu, na wapea nani? Kwenya, na ule MC, the, the current MCA. Kwenya na yana niletea pesa. Mima, this is commission, hii ni chai yako kidogo. Mm. At least, hapa, mleza jipanga nayo. One day he, he, he gave me, I, I gave him a, a client at Kwataka studio, a very big space, uh, up in Menti. I could have done it for 250,000. Now the client could have done it for almost 1 million. Eh, I said, I'm going to go to the bag. 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 He's the one who is going to go to the Now from there we started now doing now the exhibitions. Tumekula good za watu lini? Gocha. So muna tafta duka. Mina kam nataka duka. <coughs> Mini customer. 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 Na kam nataka duka. Yes. Alafu muna niambia hii duka maybe rent ni so. Correct. Lakini hindi otukupe inakuja na good with. Thank you. Non-refundable. Uh, Iyo good with. Ata inanga receipti. <laughs> Hiyo <laughs> haina receipti. Iyo, iyo ni pocket money. Iyo, iyo inanga receipti. What you know may happen? Eh. Uh, duka town. Uh, it's a very funny business, like uh, those sizes come change. Mm. Uh, you find a space like this one, unachukua, unakatakata. Unakatakata, when you subdivide, you have the front shop, it's going for this much, maybe 5 million, 2 million, 3 million. Then the second shop, and then another 200, 300, 400. And I can tell you for sure, most of the, my clients, while in Mozia Luka, there's so many. There's so many. Ile unaweza sema Kim, ule wa stalls, exhibitions. Sisi wa kwanza niyo tulikatakata imenti. Tukakatakata taskizi beba beba. You know taskizi beba beba? Yes, yes. Taskiz, beba, yes. Beba, Saini kini. Saini, it's a, it's a mall, yes. an exhibition. We are the one who did it. We did so, halafu customer anakamu. Hey, customer anakamu. Anaweka, <laughs> nini client anakamu, anaweka bizna. Inakosa kupik. Anahama. Tunayuza tena. <laughs> Anahama. Yes. Then mutaitisha mtu goodwill tena. Hey, same, same. It's like it's, it's, a, it's kind of a cartel, but you know what? You know why the reason why we normally ask for the goodwill? Yes. The owner of the building, I mean, you know, with a certain amount of goodwill. Let's say, for example, I mean, you know, like 500 million of, or maybe 200,000 or 200 million. So, how, how, how is he going to recover his money? Goodwill. Thank you. So, Nia na wasetia, but ni muna weka makapi yes, enu. Yes, weka makapi etu. <laughs> Tuna play like a juu kidogo. Eh. And, kasa goodwill ni tamu. Uka kuwa kimuwa goodwill. Eh, kimuwa goodwill, kimuwa tao, kimuwa exhibition. Eh, ungeuliza, chana uko ni kimu. Ah, unitesa. Macha tu kuna ifa, tu nukuna nataka kuwaja. Unitesa. Well, to be honest, uh, let's see as it is. Uli wakunywa. 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 That time, I remember I kwa mbaya. I kwa mbaya. Yeah. Sababu. Things were moving. Na maisha ikuwa ngumu. It's not like this. It's not. 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 Iyo, iyo, iyo tagoje ya. Wacha niuzi online. Wacha niuzi huko online, huko juu. Yes. Because, you see now, online is everything nowadays. Somebody will just get a, a, find a, a good place like this one, wherever she is or he. Ako sawa. Ako tu sawa. As long as I ingia mtandao, atawuza. Sikuna delivery game. Yes. Yeah, so, story mingi za good with. Mm. Labda sasa, unajua, hoteli ndio hata uzia 
kwa nyumba mm. lakini wanazofanya zile boat na nini mm. for the big people wenye wanataka the plan names eh? big majina kubwa kubwa mm. they're still going for the good way mm. au kuna wale watu wa kuna wale ma veteran yes wale wa kitambo bado wame maintain mm. but now you see now the old generation in a out to do na New, the new generation, generation. Hey. cuz now the new generation they come na online stuff there's tiktok the facebook everything everything yeah. so attack history a good day so pesa hey. ilikuwa poa pesa ilikuwa poa mama eh hey, hey, okay okay hapo 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 to see to see cheze ya nganyani it was good yeah and it made me create a panel of friends like good people rich people you meet rich people uh, you know what that was nikwa let me tell you something you know when you have you are able to interact with the who's and the who's and who's at the at least person na kuweka kwa certain level you are you're comfortable with this like maybe you go for you are going for a meeting you can be able to get yourself a drink yes. or something so somebody will tag you along because this guy is okay he's comfortable mm. even if a bit come he'll be able to sort it out yeah but remember fame kuna gharama yes you know we are we as human beings sometimes we forget about that one because when you when you're there up there top the downfall is like freaking an eye like this if you tuna funga macho utajipata pale chini kabisa then which is true yeah i found myself there i'll tell you tell me uh, but before there uh, like, uh, uh, like how much were you making per day though uh, so you can imagine eh. if Kenya could hit like 500 plus in a day in a day and us to go pale vo nyuma yake so you know na kijana labda napiga so so mbili chwani so in a man to liko hata nasikia kuinua migu so in a man to liko nenda home na ka mike when ni vasha boy boy vasha sarap so pa man to liko nenda home na ka mike ngapi acha za story ya mike kwa sababu e pesa ah, brokerage money is very funny <laughs> and there there is something i would tell you for free like if you don't have god blessing and your parents blessing if you don't have your god blessing yes and your and parents, parents blessings blessing, you'll be earning a lot but you cannot find touch it touch, touch the money uju kwenye inaenda uju kwenye inaenda unapata maybe edmund mefika you are less bill i am uju in between that month pesa ujui magari sijui sherehe i don't know wapi unatolea watu mchango sijui unapia nani sijui unafanya nini but at the end of the day how haiko mm. haiko mm-hmm. cuz tuna mwango wa ndio ile pesa mungu amesema mungu amekubarikia it's very important then you can be doing all this but what's your relationship with your god or what's your good relationship with your parents mm. and i know our parents they mean a lot and not a must we apatie unaona ile kidogo na pia mzazi anakuambia eh barikiwa sana mtoto wangu hiyo itakusaidia sana ni muhimu sana 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 mm. yeah so kuna mahali niliteleza kwa sababu nilijipata kwa after kuja Nairobi I engage myself not in good ways but bad ways. So it's a long story. Mm. Yeah. So kasao mpaka wazazi. Thank you. I didn't want to say it that way mm. but it, it's got me to a point of that whereby I don't have now good relationship with my parents, my brothers, my sisters, my 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 my, my, say, my clan, mm. my gukasho show. So they were like okay ah acha na wanaita washi. Asikia jina so dika mm. naitwa washi na hiyo bina itwa Kim. Leo na sasa zino itwa bosi. So unajisahau kabisa unajisahau unajua. Ah. Shusho akipiga shusho labda ni ndio anataka. Pero si si pesa anataka. Nikukujulia tu. Anakujulia hali uko aje how you doing? Uh-huh. Familia iko aje? How is everyone? Uh, the keep on asking me unaenda kuwa na wazazi ulikuwa na madhe then i like okay mm, yes 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 which is it was a lie it was a lie mm. could <coughs> in a year mm. maybe i could i could visit home twice you can imagine 
in a whole year twice kazi yako ni kutuma pesa tu so there's a time even my mom asked me you know what we don't want your money we just want to see you and it developed a relationship kingine with my dad we're not that free mm. kabisa cuz now dad was asking me oh that that does he think ama anaona kama tunamchukia ama alienda kambua nini nje i'll give you a story on that one mm. yeah mhm ni maisha ni maisha ni maisha ni maisha ni maisha ya inalikumbusha vitu zingine mingi sana mm-hmm. yeah it's okay. a tough story though yeah mm. it's all good mm. so to to go to tao pesa ina kam tunatesa kam tunatesa wasitana ni wale wale wengine una una jimbuvu na wao wengine unaacha every day you could meet you know in in this business i could meet different people every day and when you meet in this say on side of women there are those who have good motives and bad motives na sasa ju pale wao kiko kijana si unaona tu kama kadem na za gonga hii then kesho na ni kule pesa yake kule pesa dem of course ya meleta pesa ya goodwill Oh, so pesa good ita ni itampeleka lunch itampeleka dinner itampeleka out. Uliko na kula clients. Oh, bosi, sasa si. <laughs> Client mwenye amejileta. Yeye amesahau, amesahau story ya duka, ameona kijana mpoa. Eh, so una kula goodwill? Una kula goodwill. Una kula. Una kula mwenye goodwill. Una kula mwenye goodwill. Eh? Eh? Pesa yake bado ni inanunua drinks usijioni. Eh? Alafu unaenda next. Ah, bosi, eh, unaenda next. Hey Kim. Hey. Mungu, 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 mungu ni mpya. <laughs> Kim. Yeah. Wa. Yes. So you ndio ilikuwa form. Ilikuwa form, yani unapata You know lean. Mimi ni mimi ni mdogo, unapata okay. Wewe wewe uko na sponyo, eh? Anataka kuelekea duka hii. Eh? Sasa hiyo pesa ya sponyo ni tunakula. Wewe fikiri wewe ni unakula peke yako. Wa. You know, you know this like it's very funny you find somebody will come with someone like that say a young guy girl will come with a mbaba mm. like okay uh, i want the shop but do a bigger markup on the goodwill sponyo anatalipa of course of course wow. i am not saying the sponyos are bad keep yes. on uh, keep on paying but, uh, keep on paying <laughs> <laughs> your money is good <laughs> yeah keep on paying the goodwill hey, soko ilikuwa chafu soko ilikuwa chafu nairobi wakisema soko ni chafu ni chafu ni chafu So, si mzuri sana. So mtu anakwambia uweke goodwill hata kani ya 1M. <coughs> of course utaeka anakwambia shop ni how much 1 1M anakwambia eka 1.2 uh, ama 1.5 tugawane hiyo ya juu. Tugawane ya juu. Uje pale hivyo kwa 1M bado umekulia. Na pia ya juu utakulia. Si uko tu sawa. So unajua utaikula na management kule na mwenye ameleta ulikulia na ule broker amekuja. Na umekula. Na umekula. Wow. Yes. Hey kwa hivyo ilikuwa hivyo kwa hivyo then ukapata mtu then eh hey, mpundu wa wao watu atwende pa nipeleke so in that time uh, like okay niko na hii maisha i need to change because now you cannot keep on changing girls you see every time move blah 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 what up you go to mungu ananipenda acha tu ndio 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 wakati wa madamano ndio watu wa Simanga eh wazi mbona baba asiende asienda Mungu anampenda Mungu anapenda wale watu wana nanga and wabaya lakini kuna relationship uh those people we, we might think they are bad there's that kind of relationship they have with their god then as much as I was doing those bad stuff and everything uh, children's home things i used to go I used to help my house manager I used to help uh, like for instance ninge muliza in your village mtu tumganye agenda shule nani hana 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 school uniform chakula this used to be my thing mm. like nikienda kwa in the estate na identify so and so una mlipia school fees so and so na lipa na mpia chakula uh, kama ni back home uko shags naambia bro hey bro niaje Uh, shusho fulani bado wako eh hey. ah uh, wesi juna nanga huma mara mingi mm. mm. fanyaje mpatie stock 1 2 3 mchukulie vitu tampea you see now those blessings 
zina kuja kama zimenitaka mm. tu pole 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 tu yeah and inenisaidia inenisaidia mm. so to cut the story short on Nairobi lifestyle in 1 2 3 uh it was time now for me to settle so i had to you know now the back back home uh, was just gonna complain uh, everyone is complaining show show kina mama kina dad and now my brother wanted to marry so i had to yes i met this lady uh, she was corporate and i was in in whatever in street of nairobi so it happened like it's in a very funny way. Mm. Na ile mnapatana tu na mtu mna click tu hivyo. Then the next minute unasema ah ni marriage. Mimi Lynn I did a wedding. I did a rushio. And things ile tunamwangu wa my rushio had almost 600 people. Na you can imagine that film. 600 people people from all over the avenue where and where then on my wedding day i remember we had done a budget of like a thousand one one thousand five hundred they came around one thousand eight hundred people yes one thousand eight hundred people ule kijana hiyo ni hako na miaka ngapi atausi ulize ulikuwa eh thin i married around like one of that is that yes 1800 people came 1800 people i had a limousine i had a fleet of 7v8 that day that day for the wedding she was surprised with a range rover a new one as a gift no 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 as what as, as among the fleet of oh ya kumbeba sasa si tumepangia v8 eh hey, asubuhi eh hey, madam uh, range rover pale asubuhi then wewe <laughs> So you see now it's a stuff but the good thing on the 8 v8 my friends yes you see so you are rich uh, friends my rich friends and the rich rover a surprise from winsamoto in fact he's called william he's the one who did the surprise mm. and he was in the us like okay let me surprise my your madam uh this is my gift for you during the wedding achukuliwe na range rover huko bla 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 tumefanyia wedding huko paradise lost any stuff and you know there's something i would say why do you, why do people marry people ni show you know people uh, uh, on to me i have my friend uh, rajat he keep on saying oh bro me i can marry who <laughs> you <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> I keep on saying but, but you know why uh, I came to realize the reason why people marry is because of companionship. Yes. That's not, the yes. right reason right to marry. Reason to marry, not status, not kids, uh, not society. Because after doing all those stuff, you are to wem to pia imepitia. Anataka nini kwa kosa hiyo? Akikuja no like, like for instance when you look for a husband what what characters will you look at like lazima mm. identify you okay this person akona <coughs> ako hivi na hivi na hivi so can we move can we go together mm. uh he or she will he be a, a good companionship can he make a good father to me or, or what, whatever but you see before muone hamna watoto na yes ndio so it, it's all companionship you need to engage yourself in each other blah blah to 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 be to to that's very small things but to not how we so as we see the bigger picture of oh we 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 doing the the wedding we have to have the films you have to do this and that the cars the cars and everything immediately mkiona na mtu unasikia alimoa wakaenda Mombasa wakarudi wakaachana atai ya last ai ya last kwa sababu ile kitu alikuwa anatafuta kwa wao akuiona si ndio hmm. is it true? true i don't know whether i'm, I'm, I'm making I'm, a lot of sense i'm making sense to a you lot guys cuz whatever you are looking that person after now in dajin and gijin in each other the honeymoon whatever imeisha 
tumekuja bills zimeanza kuwapiga ujue before you get married to the person you are handling your bills alone now this person has come so it double kwa wili moja anajituma mwingine ajitumi eh sasa hapo unaona the standards zimeanza ku change ume move umetoka kwa whatever maybe you are doing a two bedroom or three bedroom you need an compound the status you know na your status and and for you maybe how could i really so no na eh this now this a burden to me no na so unapata <coughs> sometimes you find if the two of you you not come when him kwer atapa ele mna mlelewana inaenda au inaenda au sideways sideways mm. now my marriage imekuja tumefanya all that tumepiga honeymoon and one year down the line the marriage that's when i think things started for the apart nikapatwa na cancer na god diagnosed with cancer you see now tumefanya wedding one year atama this day enjoy it was a manga ee 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 enjoy story sana historia tu taisema sana kwa kamera mwaka mmoja tu ni umekula keki na mje enjoy intimacy mazi eh no intimacy no then it's like okay and then you see with one year society is like nataka watoto nataka watoto eh atupati tunajaribu atupati ni sasa leo nikakuja nika i remember it was 2018 that is when i got diagnosed with cancer it was around around september august there so this thing really hit me like i i i so ishona ile ni kama ulikuwa umelala umeamka hakuna stima to say you know when you sleep uh, sorry the lights were on yes. ukilala yeah. and then in the morning you wake up uh, like there there are no lights you see siku inakuwa disorganized mm, kidogo mm. so that's how my things were like okay i've fallen sick nimegonjeka na kabla nikonjeke i had a few signs like now the cancer mm. but i didn't know where by see bado niko town i'm doing my hustling and everything but in the in, in the middle of my hustle i started losing weight weight na pungua na pata to new foods uh stomach na uh, bloated uh, whereby i think one of my spleen had fallen i could not eat uh i was not been able to function well back at home mm. so all these are were signs but lean kwa ile story sijai konjeka uno na ile bad boy guy bad boy gang Mombasa naivasha boys you see my low trip manini mm. all over cuz you like you're young rich energy. Blah, blah, energy you're full of energy then all of a sudden when you want to stay to things now start for him mm. i remember there's a time we were doing the same with the we just normally do the meeting you know brokerage you call broker tao cuz mm. like uko na client uko na mwingine uko na mwingine unaweka tu kila place hutaki yule aende kwa sababu ako na do haya mm. <laughs> hutaki waende kwa sababu amekuja kuona unaona na kuna mwingine hataki kuzunguka yeye anataka ukuje umlete kila kitu umwambie this how things are in the shop uh, inataka hii this the account mwingine atakwambia okay you have a corporate account okay uh, let me deposit the money in your account I don't want to keep on asking you hey, imepatikana ama haijapatikana you see in your, in your account you full of money kuna 2 million kuna 3 million kuna 5 watu wanaku trust na pesa <coughs> so hiyo kitu yeah so that time mm. I, we, we were going for a meeting with my friend is called Boni uh, to CJ is when now I realize things are not okay cuz on the street when we were trying to get enter uh, enter CJ nilianguka chini na ikaka kwa stairs tukaongea he asked me hey, bro hey, busi, are you okay i said eh hey, i feel like i'm not okay but i don't know the feeling i love the malaria too ama ni fatigue eh hey, kumbe ah uh, sijijui vile mwili iko 
I went home. Uh, by that time, my madam was there. Uh, she was doing night shift. So we are <coughs> that day she didn't she didn't go for work. Mm. I think she was on her off day. Mm. It was an off day. So when I reached home, I told her, Leo, Leo says keep her. Mm. Think we are mambo. What's up, Willie? I mean, I'm not okay. I, I've noticed because Abu, you're not eating well. You have changed your behavior. I'm not asema. When you na pikiwa, not asema when you make cookie kula. So no na yo pasi. I was like, na ni ukweli ya ukuli. But here na juu ya na ona ni kama ushanza ona chini na ona zakula kuingi. Alafu na juu ya ukioa, tule tu tabia uli kuona tuo. Sometimes una punguza. Kusa kwa sisi shaba tampo wa so sana mweka tu kwa nyumba naona so utaki story mob iyo story mob but you see but o tabia ni nguo zinamu like so mtu juu mtu na kujua we ni mtu wa tu kwa mind hata tu aiyo yes yena fikiria tu same same old kim same same behaviors you see but on the other end una jaribu una jaribu Wajua binadamu ni binadamu tu tusidanganyane like we mwenyewe unajaribu even if kuna temptation na uko nje na nini na nini you try to keep yourself mm. unatokea eh unatokea sama u clean mm. akaniambia hapana now what you do nikakunya painkillers at night i remember i woke up in the middle of the night nikaanguka kwa hao kaanguka kwa hao i could not be able to talk all ata any word siko bedroom nimeanguka kwa sito and luckily sikuangukia we, mm. we had a table mm. the coffee table it was a glass one with the mahogany in it very mm. sharp mm. and almost ningeangukia that age sikuangukia siko nyenye anguka nika limut was there so I, 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 i did a full blast on the on the sound system so that ah, could okay. have, ah, okay. When she wake up or oh, she woke up like okay what's up she found me like i'm not talking i'm less stress she took me to the parking blah 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 to the hospital to kafika gakan luckily ule daktari i met in gakan he was just a young guy so he said hey, it's like an emergency case kumbe one of my spleen had fallen and he touched me and the the new friends were like they were blasting mm. like they were very big mm. hey emergency case kadimitiwa the following morning eh si daktari anakuja na andika na ile doctor's report in the morning mm. after now the case jioni asema signs of cancer leukemia blah 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 but no sure we do more test nini si ameka amekuja ameka pipa hivi kuja na tumaswali au vile walikuja walikuja with the team of doctors like na Dr. Anne Mwirigi and the mm. oncologist mm. Dr. Riyat and some other guys there. Mm. So <laughs> they ask me hey, hey bro, how are you? You're good? Are you feeling good? I'm not I'm not that okay I'm a bit weak. So in your family mshaipatwana hii. In your family mshaipatwana hii. Sasa mimi naangalia nasema hey, my family jamani labda ni ile story yangu ya Nairobi nishapata na kaugima sijui yes i don't know you know you're like you're sick but they are not telling you exactly what what's it is what's wrong so no no sasa sasa unaona opposite eh ndio mazini kwa positive hapa lakini lakini si niko na bibi mbona yeye ako tu sawa na yeye ako tu she's okay but all of a sudden na sema ndio jo wengine wanakuwa kali wengine si kali so naweza kuwa eh labda mimi nimeti when you think i got here pal and now what do you do now i told i told the dog come shika kido boss you know the the love language ile ya ile lugha tu ya mta boss when you be to kweli ni nini baya tushizandia hapa zile like okay to stop asking me hizo maswali mingi oh sijui nini in your family i don't know what eh, what do people say eh hey, mna kanisa ni kweli imelelewa church but sasa inahusiana nini na hapa <laughs> ukushaikuwa akaneme nao uh, signs of cancer of leukemia lakini before that wife kumbe ameona 
ile sign like cancer blah 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 eh hey, hey. hapo ndio aliruka my friends kocho na dema ameolewa mwaka imeisha hajapata mtoo hii mzaini huyo na kwa na kansa eh hata wewe utafika ndori eh ni kweli akachanganya nikiwa akasema oh jesus oh bitch ni nini 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 hata daktari hata sunge feature tu au ngeanika unajua daktari yako na makosa the doctor just broke the report na huyo ni wife na huyo ni wife so things were to be tabled lazima angeitwa so ndio hapo tukaanza story ya then our doctor yet came wakasema no they are not sure the kind of type of cancer iko but i have kind of an abnormal cells in my body the good, the bad cells are eating the good cells that is what i got in hey hapo na hapo nikasema tumepita ya kwanza kumbe ile ya kunishika mm. ni aingilie tutapigana yes. nayo so from that day you see now nishambua niko na kansa na si ukimwi nimeambia god anyway you know with this one i'll fight uh, I, i i have the will cuz mm. mimi kama nimeponea unaona pale nilikuwa najua things were not that good though and now this time <laughs> things are not also looking good mm. but i had the will of I'll fight this one till the end it doesn't matter uh, what I'll go through but just go help me to have the will mm. and with that mm-hmm. I t- now I started now the treatment ile cancer lean itakuja kuwa very aggressive in me this is like like from it was leukemia myriad cml So this kind of cancer is very funny the black cancer whereby every time maybe you're normal like this the bone inaanza kuuma and then you know the, the sharp pain start from mm. the back ni ni ngu tunaongea tu normal vizuri sana hivyo unashikwa na ni kama simu umeshikwa bones kila ma yani uchungu remember there's a time niko hosi na kwa morphine inakata and you know with with morphine is very bad because yeah. uh, as much as in apunguza pain it's give you a raw constipation and that thing of constipation lay like, my friend so you have bone pain constipation constipation and you have to push and if you don't push you're like okay and then <laughs> on that time uh, you, you, you're doing the the morphine you know you start now having the inflammation stuff mwili na dhofika your health is getting straightened mm. very bad in a bad way mm. uh that time that it was a period of like two, two, three months my friend things had really changed so you remember now this person mm. who was up there anapewa chakula anaosha hospitali you cannot take yourself to the washroom somebody must be there uh, you have to have someone who is taking care of you uh, then you cannot do a short call on your own so we like okay mwili ni maua whereby even going to the big washroom like normal washroom like mm. somebody have to hold your hand then sit on the pool blah 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 the hospital is doing the pampas like usiku inaweza kuja au unaweza chikojolea kwa sababu au na ile nguvu acha kutoa mguu weke kwa mm. chini the urine bottle wezi shika mm. hey lin so watch <laughs> so <laughs> let me take a let me take some water please chali kuja maji maji So I remember one day my friend came it's called Kenya. Na Kenya used to he, he, he still my good friend. He's the one who he hold my hand like during the wedding he was my best man. At that time ya hosi alikuwa karibu sana. Mm. Angekuja kuja na maboys, ombia boss. Manishikilia tu niko join. So you can imagine 
the guy mwenye alikuwa na energy yote Nairobi saini yeye anashukuliwa kasusu hapo hako joe na hawez guys used to come to the hospital like they used to cry whereby uni kima pana amegonjeka hata yuko nje ina adabu walai cuz sorry it's okay so unapata vitu zimetan the other way tunasema okay we thought somebody else but not you but there's something I, I, i used to tell myself unaona mungu mungu hawezi kupatia kikombe uwezi handle maybe with all my arrogance and my rudeness blah 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 na hiyo umangana na nguvu na wanda hii kiboko lazima ningepigwa plus the speed yenye nilikuwa nimekuja nayo kama si kukanyangua break kidogo labda dini singekuwa you see so everybody was like okay ah uh-uh, this is not kim they come to the hospital they like okay saa zote wanalia tu unapata kama eh hey, madam watakujaje hosi <laughs> au nakuja juu si ndio na uzianga maduka na mama na kina nani wanasema hey, hapana si ule boy tunajua uongo ilifika time lin siwezi ongea na mtu sijui ni nani home the things are not okay lakini nikakuja nikatoka the mission nikatoka Aga Khan i went home that home now you see i was a businessman now i'm not able to capture with my base nini nini eh hey, marriage marriage si takufa ifo tu eh hey, then there kalas akakutoka eh hey, maze acha tu atongee sana like that's what happened uh, uh, i got divorced on that that time ile tukaleta wazazi pande na ingine sorted out things and i remember now my doctor yet now from the Aga Khan hospital uh, during that time he had given us a small code on the hospital whereby ile tu kibahati ya Mungu the oncologist now doctor yet he just liked me he was like you you know what you have this with and I'll assist you where I can because the medicines were very expensive mm-hmm. very expensive because I, I remember that this medicine called Glevic Glevic used to get them at 12 12k per day that a dose uh, we could not even afford uh, for me, me I, I just told him that we are now you see what doc uh, with my family world well, one two three and whatever I have this thing cannot sustain me what do you do He, he did put me in a program called Max. So this Max program it's basically in Nairobi hospital whereby cancer patient can go for for the drugs for free as long as you're in the program the program if you're not in the program through through his authorization you can't. So he really wanted to to handle my case and this mm-hmm. time is when now Bokolimo was doing his bone marrow So the story of cancer had really bombed everywhere. He told me, "No, you know what? Now Washington, we'll have to look for a second opinion. Now in India, we look at least we see whether we can get a good hospital. Uh, but in here, back here home, we cannot be able to do a bone marrow transplant. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, bone marrow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how you need it. So I came here to Google. We are Angalia bone marrow transplant. Hey, how much does it cost? Eh, uh, who, who can be a donor? so and so blah 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 so i'm um, like okay how do we go about this one how do we go about this one like uh naniambia you know what washington you believe in god he'll come through for you eh nikaanza kuona aya kumbe kumbe kama huyu ni muinde na anajua kuna mungu eh me who am i and This a guy when I like, expect and treat me and nipone but yeah and the story is a god so no na hapa yenyewe hapa 1+1 1+1 i guess i guess naambia okay sawa basi tutarudi nitakwambia you time uh, madam amenda 
with their those gift tulikuwa tumepata za harusi nini wedding eh hey, mtu wangu eh hey, hii jenda nao linoma ikifika ni violence <laughs> usiseme aligeba eh hey, mzee usijali <laughs> <laughs> eh yeah? what i wow. mean hey, na usa na muambi tu ka tuongee nini eh hey, jamani naongea nini na kisha panisha ni hivyo you know you know for we came to realize now women are very fragile we are by you keep on piling to stuff ikilipuka nikae nikaa bomb ah semanga grenade acha na hiyo grenade acha na nayo ye time tuliona wakisi alitoa vitu wale jamaa namuuliza hata hiyo eh hata hii me i thought we say sorry and then we is mambo ilisha no 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 so for her uh she had a lot of bitterness mm. in her and i don't bring her cuz kila mtu na maisha yake na maisha yake unaona and we don't like keep on pointing each other finger ulifanya nikafanya kwa nini ulikosea hapana we, we move on mm-hmm. before before hata even pereko hosi ujue kwa e time nimerudi home mm-hmm. ameenda kuna ako ka period sasa una struggle tu unaona na sasa ujue uko na ugonjwa luckily si Mungu anapanga mtu na kutumia tu an angel tu pata angel anakuja anakusaidia mara unajipata uko Marura hospital na uko Madhare mm. mara unashughulikiwa Marura nayo my friend ilienda huko karibu niende huko cuz zile dawa napewa huko si zenye na ningepoaga kan remember tukuaga kan now since ingeza kutumia cash ka, pesa imepungua and then I used to do I used to go to work and through the support ya wife alikuwa complete so I used to have the insurance ya jubilee and stuff hey, my friend amenda i wait kwani ulitolewa mpaka kwa kadi ah yeah 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 jamani si ugoje wow so you said kadi lazima assign authorize unaona ndio na mimi uje eh, broker ni broker agent ni noma kuna shaka tu kwa tumebuy so nikaenda nikaweka caveat ka mliko mebuy pamoja yes oh so ukaweka pia wewe kali. correct sasa hiyo atunge nini angeuza sisi ndio sasa after ile kuti ya hey. ile kuti ya gakan uh, no ya india ilikuja around around 7 mic or 8 mic 9 mic there and then I can we send the artist I don't know 2 point something or 2 mm. point something big and you could just like you know what my friend I remember my friend called Bonnie and Kenya and Jose they were like you know what mother I know I and I turn and I could just like ambia ukuje huko hapo sign waambia register sign sijui nini nini unaweza kufa kabla history ishe hey la mwambia shamba unaenda asiendi I'm not dying I'm, I'm not I'm not no body in that one and be upana if you have to but i seen it cuz he like okay this is sure and you will you are not man jameni majameni so watch kwenye nilioa sitasema ni count gani lakini wanaole wangu wana receipt unaona ile receipt ndio umeoa msee lakini kuna yeye na vile ndanga super tulinunua hii tuna hii unaweka kwa mfuko so by the time na anatokea anatokea anatoka unatoa risiti so unatoa risiti that happen it's a story acha <laughs> ukiona hizi manyumba kubwa kubwa zina maneno zina maneno ni people people try to hide things they I, pretend. outside they pretend things are all okay they are okay but they are not okay Church wataenda vizuri people go to church and then they smile the pastor oh bishop oh meet the man of god man of god it's okay he's a man of god he has a wife he has his own congregation but when he's there on the pulpit or in the altar does he get a chance to ask his fellow members in the church whatever they are going through or we just pretend and hide ourselves behind the church and everything that's a question we should always ask ourselves powerful right powerful as, as much as we attend churches mm. and everywhere like how many how many families are falling apart and yet and in our kanisa 
ndio ule pale anatoa oh. sijui nini anafanya nini unaona but hawajui huyo madam ama mzee akina nyumbani zile challenges anapata unaona uh, sometimes it's, it's very tough cuz mtu angeniuliza so now after mali we used to go to church mm. things were okay so we used to hide our smiles vizuri tukaenda family gathering tuko tu sawa but what about home things were not good they were not that good cuz i remember there was a time on that process i was given long medication lena kuno perform check at web imagine starts checking you know? i can imagine a man umeoa and you're trying to do jiki jiki there man you cannot even do it machine mm. yamuki kumbe ni dawa zenye umepewa went back to the hospital the doctor was like okay we give you the long medication that the reason why things they are not doing mm. luckily and not taking them for long but at least tulifanya mm. bone marrow transplant i mean things are good now amen 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 so tumekuja tumeenda acha nikuulize swali ask me sanya amekutoka mm-hmm. cuz this is a crucial time in your life hisa mm-hmm. ndio una need mtu wako mm-hmm. ako hapo na wewe mm-hmm akupeleke hosi mm-hmm. hata india muende pamoja mm-hmm. senye amekutoka mm-hmm. uli deal aje na hiyo part uh, Nairobi is not a veteran mm. so among the many one two three is ni kupata kabishti sisi kalikuja kakanishikilia ay 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 wena wewe kibani ni stima <laughs> rebound <laughs> eh hey, rebound ilikuja mara hiyo hiyo chap chap but as a, as a, as a friend Uh, in fact we were not we were not go there like intimacy mm. or anything mm. uh, she, she just she just came mm. as a good friend mm. uh give me the support and i'll, I'll say there are those friends i mean i cannot be able to thank them enough for what they did to mm. me like i remember there's a time i was in the house she came from work had fallen in the house she lost me to aga khan after aga khan kiambu then she the one who dropped me at marura hospital because the hospital used to be run by her auntie mm. and then they were there with the, with the mother and the family so that was like okay aya kwani what happened you got someone else like eh hey, dad madia kamwambia huyu achana na yeye huyu 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 mambo yake ni ngumu lakini kama kwa sawa kwa sawa the the chick really help assisted me mm. on that journey so i want to say i want to like mungu aliniachilia mungu anapenda watu wake hata kama ni wabaya aje lazima akutumie malaika cuz you see like from from the word go like when i when i when i when i fallen down uh, in 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 cbd i had a friend he was there with me in the house remember also had a friend This time round I had fallen again in the in the, in the house again mm. a friend was there in the hospital the, the right doctor was there mm. and even to a point of even Dr. Ria now the big oncologist he studied my case very well he was there for me mm-hmm. so all along God had always been there mm-hmm. working with me yeah and the way you ask me earlier or can we say say by, by the grace of god it's very sufficient in mm. me Amen. it has always worked with me mm-hmm. you see mm. so tulikuja tuka tukamaliza i want to make the story short because mm. it's a bit long mm. uh tukaenda tukaanza tukapata quotation we had to go to india now india uh it was very funny because i couldn't have taken myself alone uh like my dad uh, I had to go now with my dad mm. so remember way back i had told you i didn't have a good relationship with my dad but imagine that man man he decided okay he's my son i'm going to leave everything and take him to the hospital like i, I will accompany him that was my caregiver kai alijitolea tu hivyo ewe mwanaume na mtolea sasa hiyo acha tu the relationship now mzazi i think mzazi wa mtu 
mimi yani ni kila kitu kila kitu cuz i look at myself like and then on that time my friend ko kenya akambia dad you know dad this guy is very weak so he cannot go there alone with you like the two of you my dad had not traveled so like lazima angepata mtu atamassist we went with him and and kenya kenya na he sacrificed a lot he's a good buddy the wife was also going through whatever his pregnancy mm. so before apate mtoto aliamua kwanza nipeleke like two weeks Love then welcome. then akam wow no no alijitolea that was one of mm. the thing that i'll say a good friend to mm. someone mm. ile tunajitolea adona nani alikuwa anakudumia my brother Wacha. now I'll, i'll tell you a story of my brother now so when, when we went to india uh, we went now with the resort uh from now the medical report that we normally have we, we had from Maga Khan mm. we went to the BLK hospital we found Dr Dharma uh he asked me he asked this doctor now who have sent me uh Dr Dharma akauliza riat why did you say this guy like you know his case is very bad mm. this guy is going to die like by the time i was to get to india they here yeah, they had given me like two months So by the time to record na weza kule is half of the amount like 5 million 7 million in only two weeks the disease was so aggressive like he was asking me do you know how long we have like how long we have to survive like the stay i very joking like just say i can do the math so i was told two months so by the time i was getting here i had only the mean with two weeks two weeks or max He said you are very correct and you're not afraid i said okay you're afraid of dying mm. you know i had lived good life and bad life so there was nothing to worry about like clean had done it all he had traveled had done the nasty stuff had done good stuff so to me it was like if i get another chance i'll be able to touch other people mm. that I'll, I'll, i'll see maybe god god ha- had something in me so doctor can you you know what because you have you have that will of surviving we do the transplant for you uh and that, that's when we, we did now from stage four, they had to do the very heavy chemo even they now have the chemo wakafanya nikakuja stage two. eh hey, your time ya heavy chemo acha tu things change hapo ni mambo ili niliona haya kumbe ni amsic cuz lean i'll tell you i was saying about the constipation mm. now when now when you doing the chemo hey ya india now ningine it was a bit tough mara una diarrhea mara unatapika after kutapika mara saa zingine ukuli unakonda hawezi I let me let me let me just say it. Now my dad is the one who is now to take care of me the mm-hmm. as a caregiver. Mm-hmm. Tuko hosi ni usiku na saa kuji. Nani atanipeleka cho? Dad. Nani atanifunga pampa? Dad. Nani atanipanguza dad. nini? Shit. Dad. So to a point was like any mtu anaweza kuwa any maua tu like kikitu you are somebody but now hakuna kitu naweza kufanyia mm. one day i remember that this time i was so weak uh, they had to in a resuscitation mm, resuscitate yes my dad cried he was like okay i don't want to get you back home ukwa kwa maiti naomba tu mungu asinipe a chance and the, the the thing was my dad Now after taking me to India I had to board with him. So you can imagine we have this relationship of man to man talk. I apologized to him. I told him, "Oh dad, uh, you know I was not a good person. Just forgive me. I I won't die. And if I be able to survive on this one, I'll make sure I will be the happiest person in the world." Uh I remember during that time before we, we went to India. Unajua unaambwa ngoa dini ukikonjeka 
uambiwe Aileen uh, in, your, in your home I don't know the this cultural whatever stuff you, you guys have not done this blah 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 shushwenya uh, lisema ukwenya lisema hautakuwa mara I did all those stuff because all I needed was to get healed mm. you understand uh some will come and say you know what my pastor is the best uh, he healed cancer he can pray for you and things will be okay mimi mwambia okay unakimbia huko una change how to change so when i was now telling that those stuff he said you know what you came up with all those ideas and i did them for you because you told you told me oh i'm japeleka siji ngombe tukapeleka tukapeleka i'm japeleka mbuzi siji tukapeleka siji guka yako alisema nini this man really wanted he did everything he, he could to he could do now for me to survive my brother here come my brother has a donor now my bro before before now the transplant <laughs> my divorced wife I had to come to India. She asked me, "Oh, you know what? I I I really messed up and I'm so sorry. Uh I wish you can forgive me." Uh I I told her, "Okay, you know what? Now oh, I want is my good health. Whatever happened, it happened. We're sorry for each other. I forgive you a long time ago and that's why I'm here." and I want now to do for me just the recovery the good thing i had to sign the the plot so that we could have exchange with mm. her insurance mm. so she allowed me now to, to be covered with her insurance mm. I, i think to give me around around five mic mm. there so on the other hand akachukua shamba then my moyo avenue people sorted out like they give me you know they let the two man you are tamia zimbi like kuisha they were they were like whatsapp group nini mm, nini mm. oh kimwetu kimwetu they give me two mic then i sold my car then a, a few stuff then so kupata bill ya almost 12 mic na nini we able to raise that's how we got in the money now my brother here come my brother mm. my brother sasa kufika kwa daktari daktari anasema You know what Washington uh we cannot give you your mom no, your mom cannot be the donor mm. she she's old enough but in back in your home do you have any brother I said yeah, yeah we have, I have a step brother he's called Alex I mm. uh, know we want that one so Alex lazima angekuja kuja India ndio tupate nini akue my donor sasa binakirasli mkamaa ni step bro mm. 100% match pop and i saw a case of twins not matching this guy even the doctor was like okay we have never seen such a case but this one is good to come match ko match bradangu na ye pia alikuwa newly wedded and alikuwa match away fi yake mm. akiwa almost kuza mm. kupata mtoto kwa sasa lazima angekuja like two months mm before akae akae for like one month then the second month ju ile time na kwa incubation ndio pia anze kwa prepared mm. uh, uh, when we talk about the now the, the bone marrow transplant mm-hmm. uh, what do you mean by bone marrow transplant mm. is where by in your blood complaint we have we have stem cells we have red cells we have white cells the basal nice or the other thing on a platelet mm. so <clears throat> for 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 you now to be given now the the stem cells stem cells the it's what makes blood grow right so lazima brother angu atolewe stem cell zake zenye zina cancer zie kwe kwangu so in this this period of having the incubation where you by you are incubated unakuwa unamalizwa kila kitu wanasema anga eh ni kama walimuua huyo unakuwa mweusi kuliko imeza 10 times unakumka bokori makisema hey, he was been incubated blah, 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 isolated on his mm. own mm. it's the same thing whereby unakuwa kwa your own room you are alone only the doctors can see you 
and through how do you remove now through the heavy chemo how do you remove the bad cells mm. of cancer mm. it's through chemo but people don't say what are the effect chemo effects of chemo in your mm. body mm. like how do they get to remove that one when they start to kill they kill everything when they kill a kitu kama ni damu si ni uchafu ina kila kitu so it will come to a time ina kuja kuwa zero na that time no una unajua utaitwa na mkojo utadairia constipation sasa ya wacha ile tulikuwa tunasema ati ile kimo ingine ya stage 4 to stage 2 sasa hii hii ni ile unararuka na huko nyuma inflammation yote unatoka lean it's so painful so painful it was <laughs> the process other so it's the kumbuka it was the worst it was the worst thing that ever happened mm-hmm. to me that time that time of uh, incubation because hapo ndio unasemanga unaona Mungu ovyo na unasema eh Mungu naye Mungu wangu tafadhali nisamee kama nilikuwa nimekosea uh, forgive me because <laughs> you don't know what will happen next there's uh, uh, the same I, I, I lost hope like i don't want to do this thing like i cannot do it anymore mm. Your dad is there. Back home, your mom keep on calling dad. Oh, he, he she's just crying. Uh, your family, your friends. I uh, the will now is almost you're almost giving up. You don't know whether this thing will work mm. or no. But luckily, I managed. My brother after now getting my brother to be I mean, having the brother stem cells. I managed na we had to come back home now after now coming back lean this where things now started Up now this called prognosis we shall find you about marrow transplant so people expect you to come back when you're okay now when you are coming back you are you're coming back as a, as a different person the way people used to know you mm. so you're no longer the same mm. Uh, physically you have changed have darkened uh, even kwa mikono mm. unakaa tu kitu kingine wait hauna eh maisha unashindwa haya nilikuwa india nimerudi watu wanasema nga eh huyu ni anatoka india sasa sijui kama ata survive but wacha tu wacha tuone back home mzazi naambiwa kijana wake alikonjeka ugonjwa ya wadosi sijui nini cancer you know how people view mm-hmm. uh, you know in the village in town mm-hmm. uh, watu ni tofauti wataongea tu mm-hmm. people will talk differently uh, so nimekuja Nairobi tumerudi 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 home with my parents i didn't go back home he said i'll stay back in kiambu let me just continue back with my life like nilikuwa nimezoea hiyo nina hiyo hadiko mm. leo nimetoka kwa incubation whereby was being incubated please kuna baridi back home kuna joto and now i, I wanted this now transplant to start working and the, i had now the good advice from the doctors there you need to take good care of yourself you have to incubate yourself you have unava, unafa kuvaa mask mm afa kuenda nje afa kusalimia watu nyumba haifa kuwa na watu wengi ah uh, kama mtoto we ni mtu mzima lakini unakuwa a two months old a two months old baby where you need to take care of yourself mm. deformity on the face nywele na ina bulo kama ya mtu hii uh, stuff mingi zina change because i remember that time i used to i used to do the bcgs unapata eh? you know when i did the process here yeah, like like a newborn baby that's it and you know, remember you're a, you're a big person but now lazima ufanye hizo zote the bcg and everything so this time all along my my mom and my dad and now my family and then the big cloud that i had so i'm a potter you know staying in in the, in the hospital for almost a one year mm-hmm and coming back things change things change this is as it is ndapata vitu zimebadilika 
uh, some of your friends are married and wengine hata wamekufa wengine walienda you finding now mm. new people mm. and now you, you you want to start a new life mm. a fresh one but kuna kitu nilisema go help me to heal mentally and psychologically physically mm. i know i have the will but if there is something i pray for you there mm. like i pray for to you to give you give me that grace and the courage uh i've done i've gone through a lot hell so allow me to start healing mentally where by lean if i show you the old kim and the new kim these people are totally different the beard gang the handsome guy blah 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 now you're dark so you need una jangalia kwa kio hivi hey una sema we kumbe ushageuka unageuka kitu kingine mara in your back naanza kupata boil zile maboils mingi zinatoka tu sasa hiyo jua tumefanya transplant ni kuna kitu inaitangwa GVHD that is graft versus host disease it attacked me when i came back whereby i, 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 I lost my eyesight mm. and then i also developed now the skin it changed it darkened all over again now 10 times uh it's peel, started to peel off whereby it's like now after when you when you have chemo vile nywele na ngokanga now now the skin now started peeling off mm-hmm. inaanza kutoa vitu za white unapata skin unaona uki mm. ukioga hivi mm. when you scrub it inaanza kutoka ngozi mm. yenyewe mm. then on the other side mgongo inaanza kutoka boil hata ukilala hivi nini ukilala uchungu ni uchungu cuz ukilala at the back ukiamka sheets zote mm. zimejaa mm pass ni mm. red blood stuff kama hizo then you in the house na nuka always you always find anything i do the doctor no it's go it's, it's just a small stage after of, of three months do this take this take care of this one uh, the stem cells are now fighting your, your stem cells and your brother they, they started fighting mm. now that the that, that the reason why you are experiencing this stuff I said okay doc then what about my eyesight the liver enzymes because of the meds is not affecting me much I remember my friends they used this could come in the house like kuniona naenda kumsalimia hivi so unajua you know you, you just pretending you can see them mm. but mgeni akiingia pale si utampea mkono mm. so this guy tricked me he gave me his hand naenda kumsalimia hivi akaona napeleka na hivi kanishika kanikalisha chini he just cried like this is not you i mean i don't believe in this what's happening yeah i even don't know what's happening but i'll still fight it mm-hmm. i'll have to fight it so <laughs> anyway yeah, it happened mm. it happened i'm sorry for that one. no it's all right <laughs> it happened it happened yeah. and so this time no mention of cry be good mhm and should be tough men should cry no 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 uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> i've just cried because there's a time mm. uh, i remember i was in the house uh, and one day one morning i woke up uh, you see i have the boils on my back and because of a, a lot of medication mm. you know when you are in elimination you take a lot of meds mm-hmm. so the kidney the organs sometimes unless you keep on checking cause the last spoil mm. my I, I developed this called this the power in the my my test is one day woke up very in, in 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 the morning and like I could not even lift my hand my my leg so me fura hey hey wacha tu ndinaweza kujua siwezi naweza simama siwezi mm. kuna mtu kwa nyumba sina it's only me and i i, I got a dog it's only me and my dog inalia tu hapo 
because I think you know Tombongo dogs are best man friends, you know. And then when I know Napan, I things are not okay with mm. guy. Mm. So by the time my friend Kenya came, and then he was like, "Boss, you need to turn up. I'm my friend. I even don't know. I hope it's not. This thing is not coming back again. Now come a prostate. It's quite an annoying thing. I mean, I mean, she's about to turn up. My prostate. Oh, you need to put a pan. When I hospital, I go. Like hospital, I come to. Because of the dawa, then it's like, me, 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 you come on and develop your shida. Like, for like two or three months, it can isha. But that thing was so painful. Mm. It was pe- so painful whereby, I come to my You know, when you have to have a experience, you have to have a gonorrhea, you have to have a gonorrhea, you have to have a So this one, is, it was a bit, it was more than. Mm. Same pain, I had a bone pain. It's the same pain I had an experience. Mm. And you know now, this organ is very sensitive. You can imagine now where it is. Mm. The, on the other end, you have mm. the mm. boys. Mgongo. Mm. Mgongo. Azitoki. No, no. I say, you have to go to the So, when I, this is the day, like, I, I was alone in the house. Or oh, I, I, I almost committed suicide. I've never said it. <laughs> I've never said it, but I've just said it mm, right now. Mm. Uh, and I remember that day, I, uh, I just woke up and I'm like, okay, now, what's all this? Why am I suffering? It's too much for me. I think all I've done, I've done it all. Like, I managed to go to India to get treated. Here, I'm, here I am, I'm back. Uh, I cannot be able to handle this thing anymore. See, see, really, mm. see, macho. Uh, like I, I'm seeing myself like nobody. But I remember, like I said, no, 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 no. I don't have to. That day, my brother came. And he took a. He he he's a, he's a teacher at mm. Isli. Mm. And he took a Isli. It was uh, very funny. I've never seen my brother me kujia usiku. Me kujia tu ile. Ada siku me funga mlango. Ali kujia straight to the bedroom. Akani pata. So me kwa me chukua. Nuna zire dawa zote ni kwa me pewa. Usi nani nani nani. Kwa me zeka apo. Like kombe. Me zikunye. So bro. <laughs> Kim. Akani pata. Akani ambia whatsapp. Akani ambia pana. Mimi. I had to come and look for you. What's happening? Remember when you had a transplant and you had a bone marrow? You had to the extent that you had to come to the camp and you had Even right now, if I'm not okay, my brother will call me. If things are not that good, am I feeling? Am I feeling? So I'm going to go to the office and I'm going to go to the office and I'm going to go to the office. Now, your time, your time, but in India, my bro, I feel like I'm going to go to the office and I'm going to go to the office. So he used to remind me, you know what, bro? Me, I'm going to go to my stem cell. I'm going to go to the office. Like, you are born and my wife is going to go to come with a grace. So by the grace of God, to come with a grace. By the grace of God, Pia Wewe, you can come with a grace. You are healed now. I mean, stem cells can work. <laughs> so, I <laughs> said, you know what, bro? Me, I was like, uh, okay, I feel, I feel like I'm, I want to give up. And I'm done. So, in everything that I've, it, it, it's on you. Whatever is my mix of cream, blah blah blah. Can I be a partner? Hey, Brian, I'm a pastor. Hey, the Omba. I put you in the Omba. Yeah, we need to. We can come back. Hey, we need to come back. I can You know what, God? I try to go to Metoka all the way from India back here. I know this time this guy want to give up. Please show him a sign that he's gonna make it. The Omba. Nikaanza, I remember he alikuwa mkujana juice, 
whatever I just shake this I don't know this is a amepitia kwa mama uji mm. kuna hizo mchanganyo mm. asili mm. nini akaniletea uji power uji power that's it I was looking for that one yes yes <laughs> yeah so akanipea <laughs> so I felt like oh nice imenipea nguvu ah. kanipeleka hosi tukarudi and here we are yeah i'm good now you're good i'm good mm. up and now from the elimination mm. i've been doing now medication sile dawa is very supportive mm-hmm. uh, you know kwa uko na kansa mm. kuna sile dawa the, the billions sasa kule ngazi kwa mingi kuna bro anambia you know what bro pana nishachukua kanini kuna kabonas nimepoa hata nikubaiye dawa kiasi za kusukuma unaona mwambie hapana wewe unajua uwezi sema una mm. lakini mimi najua hauna mm. uh, for nia he kept on supporting oh. kept on supporting mom friends uh, friends could form whatsapp group they come in the house mm. the number they do shopping mm-hmm. uh, kuna wale wako nje watatumana yeah uh in life kuna watu wazuri pia yes they are those they are they are, they are, they are, they are, they are good people. they are good people mm. there i know they are good people and through that i've seen it mm-hmm. on my end through my journey mm. i've i've delisted it mm. i've seen it i'm like to you mm. man. and this one thing that it has made uh, i decided god you have given me another chance what can i do mm. I, I, I like to be back to to the people I think to the community I said you heard me I like to touch another person heart good. or soul good I may motivate them I tell mm. them okay I went through this even you can make it and you know the problem with us men men don't like talking and I know men don't like saying it all like mm. You know, tell you, uh, it's very hard for a man to tell you I'm suffering or I'm not able to do this or things are like this things are tough on my end uh, a man will just keep telling you hey hey you're good ah no ah, I'm fine but inside that person things are not okay things are bad mm. maybe back at home and especially when maybe for for instance if someone is diagnosed cancer how do the person is is is, is how, how can the person be able to relate with mm. other uh, other people uh, or maybe on the society side cuz you find na pata huo mtu akigonjeka wanataka kuka peke yao like they want to isolate themselves from the cloud you see by that i came back but i could not tell my friend i'm suffering i'm in the house but i could not tell my friend I don't know how this siko eh siko poa things are not okay mm. so they think usha toka india sasa uko sawa but tunaona hawezi haya nishagonjeka testis my friends were come sitaki kusema mm. you know mm. uh, sitaki kusema ukweli cuz kuna ile unaona ile mani hiyo hataki mm. kusema vitu uh, kuna hizi there, there, there are some cases uh, i'm finding with people especially with current i'll tell you whatever i'm doing mm. uh, of men with prostate cancer they are wanakuja wanakuwa hawataki kuiongea back back at home they are suffering mm. ni shame ni shame kwa sababu remember this person manzi hataweza ku perform ako na familia unaona na na si ati lazima ikupate kuwa mzee ama nini itakupata bado ukupata kijana unaweza ipata tu how do you want to relate now with your family cuz kuna mtu watu wa cancer you know jam hey, time pa inakuanga 0 to 100 real quick Ooh, Jesus. i don't know whether you have mm. come across mm-hmm. one or but i know out there with we are for those families who may kwa mamelit na watu wako na cancer wanafaa kujua si kutaka ni hiyo unaona lini nimekuwa eh nimekuwa like a burden to, to the family uh, kila time ni mimi imara mabeshti harambe <coughs> sijui nini oh uh, tunaenda maombi kwa kina king 
Oh, you know what? You're not good. You're not feeling well. Uh, we need to changa for him. Hizo vitu zinakulanga mtu kichwa. Like, again, God, why it's only me? Kwa nini mimi niyo? Kwa nini mimi taishi kuchangiwa? Mm. Unaona? So, yu mtu wana sema, apana, if I get a chance, me, I will just die. Yeah. I think ni yondoke ni yache ku, kusumbua watu. Ikifika ni home, bills, mashida, madeni, sijui nini, 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 mm. nini. So, nuna nuna pata uo family uo mtu, akua kwa family, ya nuna, ya pana, mimi ni nafanya, wazazi, maybe wanauza shamba, job uku, ayendi, ayendi poa, family kama alikuwa na, a young family, like, now on my case, I would say, you know, when I, when I was diagnosed on, on, on my age, I was very young. The time now I was I wanted to start a family, but things did fall apart. Mm. When you want to put a you, when you want to put a, maybe you cancer by that time, how are they handling yeah. the stuff? how are they handling? Mm? How are they handling that mm. stuff? Because, to be honest, then is not easy. And, to number one, you know, when you're up there, align yourself. Jipange. Jipange. Wakati tunasema Subaru Boys, sijui nini, nini, nini. Wakati kuna nguvu, ukua, you don't know about tomorrow, what mm. will happen tomorrow. Because, for, for instance, I used to be a very good agent in town. All of a sudden, things changed. Like, it didn't take like an year or so. Like, many vitu zili move very fast. Not to a point, wu likuona peana, sasa weni unapewa. Unaona? And what did I do during that period when I had? Did I associate myself with good people? How, what was my relationship with mm. the society? Mm. You, you understand? Uh, if the society could be asked, who was Kim? What would they say? What would they say? God. And what would people say mm. when they ask, uh, Kim alikuwa nani kwa society? Alisaidi ya kina nani? Up to now, is he giving people hope? With, with his journey, hili ya mepitia, is this something we can learn with this guy? Mm. You, you understand? Mm. The society, the old people, the church, the family, like now, mama will tell you the truth. Right now I have a good relationship with my parents. I develop a good relationship with my dad. He's my best friend. I have a good relationship with my brother. We became good friends. Uh, my grandmother, my shoshu, everybody I had to go back to family. Go back to family and make peace with them. Now, making that peace, it has given me this courage of I want to come out, share my story with people, and tell them. What we, uh, whatever maybe cancer patient normally go through, the rejection, psychologically, mm -hmm. nini, non-performance at home, how to talk with them. Because sometimes a young guy, ameoa, amekua mgonjwa, the next minute unasikia, oh, nini, nini, mazi, he didn't make it. After prognosis, how to handle that how situation? To handle how that. to handle it? Mm. No, no. Mm. Uh, I saw you came with some guys. Huh? Yeah, so I, I came with my friend. Yes. What are you guys uh, doing? Currently, we it's like we have this organization mm. whereby we say like we're doing a kind of a charity work with the with the relationship that I had with doctors in India. Yeah. I, 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 I created a very good relationship with with them. So we started this foundation called Satyuk Healthcare. Satyuk. Satyuk Healthcare. What does that mean? Satyuk? Uh, it's God time. Oh, God's time. God's time. Oh, yeah. nice. Satyuk. Yeah, Satyuk. Uh -huh. Satyuk. Yeah, it's God's time. Eh? Uh -huh. uh, it means it's God's time. Let me help people. Wow. Let me give back now to the community that was telling you. It's we, God's time. It's God's time. Now to give now back. Now to give back now. Whatever I went through, let me share my story i love that encourage people mm. assist people through the med 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 medication period uh do and don't mm. you know what to take what not to take mm -hmm. or, uh, for instance 
you need to heal mentally uh, especially hapa 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 ndio kila kitu kama singepona hapa singeweza kuongea mm. singeweza kuambia watu people come in the office i i i, I, I try to encourage them oh, you, you, ha- you 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 went back to work yeah like you now I, i i went back to work yes uh through satyuk uh, we are we are medical assistants yes. we are assisting people connect them with indian doctor okay. the same way dr riyat did i learned the process yes so I had to come up with that the same thing sorry yes. whereby i can assist people because what when you are you unasikia kwenda india ataenda ataenda atano na nani kabla ende uh what should they do kuna report na fa kutuma local report atumie daktari mwenye kwa india aziangalie ampatie quotation amtengeneze visa kabla ende waongee na daktari ajua anaenda ku treat mm. hospital gani mm. vitu hizo vitu zote yeah. and, and through that we have been able to assist people kuna wale watu wana like now i'm finding a lot of patient coming to the hospital uh, to the to the office who need help sasa zingine lean ara kama rudi kazi mimi niko na bills zangu za dawa almost mm. 50000 in a month kuna hizo test na nini bado nazifanya niko pale ofisi mtu amekuja ni patient nimsaidie yeye anataka nimsaidie pesa ni pesa na nije za zingine sasa hauna but what we do we have well wishes as i told earlier mm. kuna watu wazuri that those people say tell you kim bibilia ni gani we want to assist people mm. wale wakikuja ku sentence napata pesha na mekam ako na ukimwi he or she ako hiv positive Ay. and also ako na cancer you, you understand it's a lot it's a lot they like have a group of people mm. in in kiambu uh, like 20 of them we, we normally support them by unapata this group they are cancer people and they are hiv people wengine wako na both unaona people out here they are suffering it's a struggle it's a very it's a struggle but i'm happy you have s- satuk that's <laughs> that, a good that's yeah. a good name true, true, mko wapi mko based wapi we are we are located in on biashara street okay and uh, next to rafiki bank mm. isan plaza mm. room number 4 okay room so people one on fourth floor okay so you guys you are now giving like um, cuz i want to get cuz just for the sure. clarification just if mm. someone has mm. so you have the experience now I so you've decided you I'm are going to share now product. the experience, no, the experience. so yeah. other people can come and Correct. you can connect them to the right channels Correct. but also if the public would like to donate to the organization Correct. you have a pay bill True. do you have the pay bill yeah, by I mind have. or i put it on the no, screen because i, bill on, I feel oh. like that's something yeah, many something. people would I, want to channel support to sure, sure, okay sure. Mm. i have it uh 920 mm. 2095 okay that is 920 yeah 2095 mm. and also if any patient or Account anyone uh, washington okay uh, if anyone want to reach me out mm. through my number feel free i'll just 0723 mm. 122 731 okay. anybody can call me and ask me how the journey was how should, should you assist be. my parent yes because i normally get international calls as mm. people asking me I, I need to send you to my Cause, hey, cause my mom mm-hmm. I need you to talk to my uncle I need you to talk to you so know, and so how can you help them Bon maro si raisi Bon maro si raisi ba na iko na challenges mingi sana mm. sana Si raisi ku accept unaona vile niko mm. This is not me but I love the new king he's humble the sickness made me to be very humble it it in put in a in a way like i appreciate everything and i i tell, I, I tell people when you when you're up there just remember mungu ni amekuweka hapo you need to be humble yourself it will take you far mm. yes na ukiwa nazo gawa share what you have eh una mpoa umepata mpoa sasa jameni hapo mimi master Aso so we fatam for. Masha very soon. Eh vitu zinakuwa. Eh vitu zinaanza kuja line. Zina come. Zina come. I was to give up. And the good thing mm. I, I I I did a test and yes. I do reviews on my spam. Now I can be able to 
kazi iko poa. Kazi no oh. sasa hapo ni mimi naka. Ni wewe na kazi. kazi. No iko poa. You are so positive. Thank you. No you are so positive. You, What would you say is the greatest lesson life has taught you? Uh, I'll go back there when I was telling you John the 16. John the 16. If you read that Bible verse. Mm. That for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That well. You understand? So <laughs> if Mungu anaweza toa mtoto wake na mpiane cuz the hand that gives is the hand that gives the sins. Yes, I understand. Mm. Remember when I was suffering, I could remind God, "Eh hey, Mungu nikumbuke na jitoleanga." Unaona? Hakuna yani kuna there's something good I've done back. Kumbuka tu kama moja. Kumbuka tu kama moja. Na mimi hapo kama moja ni naona ni kwa kali niponye. Kwa sababu hata kama nilikuwa mbaya aji sherehe na nini na kuwa arrogant na nini na family bla bla bla. Mungu alikuwa anakumbuka. Kwa kama moja ulifanya. Kwa one thing mtu akaniombea mema. And up to date now I have now the will. Kuna time my mom used to say na jeu siku moja utakuwa pasta na mimi mami siwezi kula sadaka. Oh, uh, aji. Anambia acha nikwambie kazi ya Mungu. Mungu akikuita utaitika. Utaitika. Na mwambie mami mimi siwezi ananiambia acha nikwambie utatoka nje utatembea huku everywhere. Ukipreach. Ukipreach. Naambia mami, "Oh, sijiwezi nijikute." Anambia, "Let me tell you. One day you tell me." Mam, hapa ni wapi? Hapa ni wapi? <laughs> I I I'm like okay mm. I, I don't know the way I'm able to share mm. my story with mm. you. Mm. And ah, thanks man. I mama. can tell you as it is. Yes. And I don't know whether I'm doing God's work. You are. But no you are. You are. I don't know. No you are. You me, are. Let me, let me I'm a feminity. Yeah, yeah. You are man. But do any mfani. Eh do any mfani mabeshte wametoka toka ama. Mabeshte wacha ni kwambie lin kuna wenye walitoka kuna wenye wako kila mtu alimuvona maisha yake mm. uh, gotten good friends kuna wale wako wako karibu uh, kuna wale sasa sasa labda kwa sababu una familia kuna wale mm. kozi like okay mm. hey, sasa wewe yes na wewe familia iko sasa mm. unaona atwezi enda hizo family gathering mm. but as we had said earlier hapa hail hapa hail psychologically before yes. physical because mm. it's not easy for me to walk in the street of Nairobi looking this dark and I used to be lighter you see I used to be brown then big blah 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 you understand bully eh uh, hey, bully there when you na sema tu kwa hizo street so unapata na mtu anakuuliza eh hey, Washington what happened some walifikiria nilikufa wengine wanajua siko others are like what are you doing now mm. What are you up to you understand it's not easy everyday challenges come on kwa society kwa matatu mtu anakuangalia sijui nini unakaaji ni nini kwa nini ugonjwa unaweza kuambukizwa no some people think in ugonjwa ya ngozi but no if you look at my skin now it's mm. coming back it's coming back and i remember i used to be very dark and on that story i've tried to share my journey on tiktok Kim Washington. Mm. I have tried to explain to people step by step Good. how my journey started. Good. <coughs> I went to India. After India, the process that mm. I went through mm. uh, and how things are right now, yeah. currently whatever I'm doing and sharing the story is giving me that by brain. I'm also healing. So kwa kwa good will ya God. Thank you man. Yeah. Ume to challenge. Thank you. Ume to like you've really challenged us to look at life in a different perspective. Sure. Hii hii mwili ni maua. Ni maua mama. Hii mwili ni maua but true. see new smile, see new yeah. so positive. Yeah, 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 true. Unaona yeah, see new discover that yes. You can go through something and still get purpose. Correct. Unajua sasa hii utakaa uone yeye ile job unafanya. Mm. Ni kubwa kushinda job zote zenye ushaifanya, you know. Na venye tu mama alisema akikuita eh. utaitika. <laughs> utaitika. <laughs> Hapa ni wapi? Hapa ni wapi, you know? Wape, <laughs> wambie. Wape, wambie, you know? <laughs> yeah, and I'm happy you also made peace with your family. Yes. 
I'm happy. That's yeah, the biggest thing that I A do. lot of people yeah, will true. learn from you, King sure, Man. Because sure. person also, what say one as she can in a Kabisa. In a dog one as she come to an as how, what wow. Unakuwa tu zile za, yani mm. unona tu nikani we uli jipeleka hata sure. shule, uongeleshi hata mzazi, mm-hmm. unabolu uko lakini kwenye watu ujajengea mzazi cho. It's true, 100%. Ni hard, ni hard, ni hard you know. True, true. Mm-hmm. So I hope people can reflect. Saingini ya natuse mangi ya santi, tumiamuka kichwa yumi. Correct. Tuko tu nika, yani tuko tu. Correct. Tuko tu. Kabisa. But now we, even for me you've challenged me to practice you know. Gratitude. gratitude, have a grateful heart, humanity, Kila kitu. Kila kitu. Mm. you know, na mm. me I'm happy that you are okay. out here speaking also, sure. imagine that I miss Jeff Kiria was when you, especially when I go through prostate, yeah. kama hata wakona safe space ya kuongea kawa na ume, lakini mm-hmm. kuona wuna ungea, no, I have to say it, ma'am, na umeisema, umeisema mm. the highs and the lows, true, true. itakuwa tu poa, so true, thank true. you for Most coming, welcome. I appreciate you, and I'll share your details on the screen. Okay. They are showing. Thank that you. is your number. True. Also, Satuk. Sat- yeah, Sat- Satuk Healthcare. Satuk Healthcare. <laughs> yeah, true. That's something I would want people also to support. Sure. So I'll just plug in the pay bill here. Sure. But above all, may God bless you. Asha ku bless. Asha ku bless. <laughs> yeah, may we true. learn from other people's experiences. Sure. Na pia akujalie kama niwili yake upate ka familia. Nekweli. poa. Hapo sasa. Hapo sasa, sindi yo? Yeah, yeah but I want to let you go. But true. before I do, maybe looking at this camera, yes. what would be your parting shot to the audience? To the audience? Yes. Uh, for those who are watching, uh, 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 I'd like to tell people, being diagnosed with cancer is not the end of it all. Uh, one day you wake up, you have cancer, but remember mm. here, it's all here because mm. like for instance if you know for me see i'm, I'm walking on the street on nairobi I'm, I'm this dark but there's no mirror in front of me you are my mirror so if mentally i can tell myself oh you're gonna deform it equal so that i will just start seeing you mm. as my mirror and i reflect that one so if i say no to that there's no cancer in me amen and i have to push it oh god so guys let us start healing from our mind mm. physical and shall be well shall be well yes thank you most welcome yeah looking forward to what life has true, true, to true. offer sure but above all you're doing an amazing job thank continue you, sharing thank continue you. giving people hope true Kunam say maybe Kuna vitu mwabu miongelea, kuna mse mibi alikuwa pale ya na watishu na leo ndi ilikuwa siku yake ya mwisho, wakona mm-hmm. mathoughts, wakona nini, mm-hmm. alafu waone, mm-hmm. ndi ukimu, amipitia, True. nipoa pia wase wa save, Correct. tunaeza ball, but wacha to save, to invest, nipoa pia wase wa juwe the right people wana settle True. now, yeah. for better for us, ikuwa angi to say, inakamna action zake pia, sana. you know, mm-hmm. na pia tujipatie second chance in life, True. tunaeza kuwa tumefanya hizo vitu zote, but kuna kakitu tuka moja, mm. godu kumbuka, sindi yo? Nkweli. Chani kuwache basi, salimia so watu much. wako. Tawa salimia. Out to ongelelea <laughs> next time. <laughs> Out to ongelelea <laughs> next time. Eh, I love your blessing, God, I bless, bless kabisa. I bless kabisa. Eh. Once you bless ikifika, yes. I'll come to the show and tell me, bye. Here we are. Here we are. Sindi yo? Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Karibu sana. Tumaliza. Uh, Tumaliza. Tumaliza. Eh. I come with my, I have built a very relationship with my, my yeah. doctor. Yes. Uh, he's called Dr. Rajat. Mm. He's, you know, my come and do videos yes. on me. Yeah. Like, for instance, the, the board that we created, mm. Ikakuja. You may come. May come. Rajat, ni wa India, ma ni yes. wapa? No, ni wa India. Ako yeah. ume, ume tampaka se wa India. Yeah, wote, wala Na wake hiyo wa plug. <laughs> Na wake hiyo picha okay. hapo kwa screen. Yeah, kwa screen. Yeah, but yes. thank you. Mm. And also guys at home, I want to know what your take home is from today's conversation. What an eye opener. Like what an eye opener. I know we are all watching and we are like, tunajuliza tumasoli. That's mm. the purpose of life. Sometimes there are ears that will ask why and then there are ears that
that will answer. Mm -hmm. But above all, we have to be able to live life intentionally. How to do kesho, how to see kesho, how to do the next minute, what will happen. So on the comment section, like we always do, let me know what your take home is from today's conversation. Niweke ni hapo your comments and also ninini milan. And also remember you can reach out to Kim. His contact details are on the screen. And to say thank you so much to the people who make this work happen. Our team for always filming this. Our editors for always editing and making sure it reaches you guys on time. And of course I want to say thank you to our incredible partners of the show. Tap Tap. It's been an amazing journey doing this with you guys mm -hmm. and I hope a lot of people continue using your platform. Do remember to send money with them to your loved ones here back at home. You can do that through M-Pesa or even your bank account. It's very fast. It's very reliable. They have great rates. Najua dollar imeshuka hapa na pale lakini they still have good rates for you guys. And remember by using my code lean you are able to get 10% cash back on your first new transaction. So ni kama ujawai tumia utumie halafu utume pesa for the first time you are able to get that 10% cash back. Uh, the details are also on the screen hapa on ways that you can go around it. Download their app on Play Store or Apple. The link is on the comment section and also if you want to share your story you want to rebuild or restore with us this year info at lnn.digital that's where you can be able to find us and also gosh I saw now I'm Pesa someone sent us something amazing I want to say thank you with to whoever sent us as a team that we appreciate to depend support you so if you can our M Pesa number is also right there support us and to all the people who have been supporting us we see you and we appreciate it it helps run this production sometimes so mm. we don't take it for granted so mm. if that's you i want to say thank you little stua last week so shukran sana tumepokea and we appreciate i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow 10 a.m bye bye